You look really dark to anybody. What the fuck is up with that? Where's my eye getting funky today? I don't know. Let's see here. Figure video. Let's see if this will work any better. I feel like something got funky with like the gamma or something. Alright. Oh, come on, dude. Give it to me. Give it to me, baby! Uh -huh. It's really only got two selections, huh? Okay, well, that's... Uh, I guess we're going to go with that. See if it's a little better. I think I have to do this again to make sure it, like, takes. Alright. Yeah, all right, whatever. Okay, so... Uh, what I say? What I say? What I say? Oh, I said I need to get. I say, I say. I say, you need to keep. Nice boy, but the elevator doesn't go to the top floor. I saw some listing of, um. It was like Looney Tunes characters ranked or something like that, but like. It was, I think it was on Kotaku, or one of the sister sites from it. I'm not exactly sure. And um, they actually had, like, Muggsy, who's, like, in, like, one cartoon ranked higher than uh, uh, Mar um, Marvin the Martian. And I was like, that's just criminally insane. Like, there's just there's just no way. I mean, uh, yeah, J-Dip is, is, you know, a wonderful catchphrase, you know, I guess. But, like, no fucking way. Just, just no. There's just no excuse. I mean, at least give, like, baby Finster, you know? Like, I want an Easter egg! I want an Easter egg! I want an Easter egg! Nothing. He wasn't even on there. It's like, get off fucking cow. If you need further proof that the American, uh... You know, election system is f fucked up. There you go. Bleed for you. Better not fucking go away. I will be a, 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 be back and go away. I'm doing the best I ever did. I'm doing the best I, I can. I'm doing the best I ever did. Now, I'm going to try to make sure this does not affect my stream. Um, hopefully I can start on my normal, like, cuckoo things that keep it under control. But I just want to warn everybody, I'm definitely coming down with some sort of sinus infection. I hope you guys don't catch it from me. No. I know that's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. Um, it's so stupid. I'm so stupid. Um, no, but the, the idea, you know, that, I mean, like, it, I can always tell because I start, like, my nose will just start randomly running, like, like, absolutely crazy. Um, I don't know what that thing was just showing me. Anyway, um, but then my eye starts, like, freaking out, like, it's, like, in a lot of pain right now. I get, like, sinus-based, uh, um, pink eye, like, every year now, so it's like, and it's not, like, contagious or anything like that, so don't worry, you guys won't catch it. I know that's not how it works. I know that's not how it works. Brian, you're a moron. I'm like, yes, I know. I'm doing the best I ever did. Go away. I'm doing the best that I can. Go away. I'm
I'm doing the best I ever did. Go away. I'm doing the best I ever did. I'm doing the best that I can. Now, go away. I'm doing the best I ever did. I'm doing the best that I can. I'm doing the best I ever did. Now, go away. I'm doing the best I ever did. I'm doing the best that. It's going to look really nice on here once we get to it. Just a little touch of carmine. That carmine red is just like one of my favorites. I'm doing the best that I can. It's picking up a lot of the ultramarine, uh, French ultramarine, but it's not picking up the violet one of it. That's interesting. Boom, 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 boom. Southern Nights. Have you ever known the Southern Nights? Free as the bees, not to mention the trees. Whistling tunes that you know and love so. Southern Nights. This is good even when close your eyes. I apologize to anyone who can truly say they have found a bad way. Southern skies, have you ever noticed southern skies? It's precious views that's just beyond the outstep. Running through the cells of the stories told of old. Old man, he and his dog that walked the old land. Every power touch. I don't know if it was something that was on there. I mean, this song's old enough. It could have been. But there's something about this song that instantly makes me think of the Muppets. And I don't know why. Like, it just, like, has, like, a Dr. Teeth, you know, like, vibe to it. I wish I could stop this world from fighting. You know, or, or just, like, Kermit on the banjo or something. Like, I don't know. I feel like I feel like this would be something that would the Muppets would have done at some point. Yeah, I guess and many of the men agrees. This planet fights in the southern skies. Southern skies. I feel good, it's frightening, wish I could Stop this world from fighting La da 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 La da 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 La da 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 Like I said, it could have been something, I mean, you know, the Muppets always had like the, you know, at some point, some you know, major musical acts from the time. So maybe very well something that he may have been on there and, you know, and played the song for all I know, but it just feels like a Muppet song. Then again, when I listen to, like, Alice Cooper, Welcome to My Nightmare, I see, you know, the his performance of it on The Muppet Show, so. I got to at some point get up to the... Um, uh, theater of the Moving Picture, I think is what it's called. It's basically at this point, you know, it's, it's they have like a huge Muppets, um, you know, like exhibit or whatever. So it's not just the Muppets; it's just, it's just Jim Henson overall. So they show you some of the uh, rigging that they had to do, like say Dark Crystal, and that's what I think in Brooklyn or the Bronx, something like that. It's one of them.
I just hope nobody comes here for the wealth of information of like, you know, actual facts. I'll give you all the stuff about aesthetics and stuff, but facts? No, fuck that shit. I don't know, that's, that takes, like, learning. That takes book learning. Listen to the wind blow down comes the night. Run in the shadows, damn your love, damn your lies. I can't figure out, I mean, maybe it's just because it's Disney or something, but I can't figure out why Disney can't make the Muppets work. Like, they've just, they, they keep trying the, the the Muppet movie um, not the most recent one not, not Muppets Most Wanted the one before that just the Muppets that was alright it wasn't great but it wasn't terrible either but it's like is it really that impossible for them to figure something out, uh, you know? I mean... So I can't believe that they're a dated thing. You know what I mean? Like, that they're just had their course and they're done. There's got to be a way to make them relevant. So that they stay, you know, and I mean more than relevant, just not, not, something more than just, you know, something you go down to, you know, Disney World and ride the Muppet Ride, you know what I mean? Like something, not that it's a ride, it's like a theater thing, but you know what I mean? They deserve better. You know, and I'm sure that there's some little, uh, you know, elements of that that unfortunately fall under questions of shadiness. Like, you know, there was like the whole controversy with the guy that was Elmo, and it's, it's like for a while there, I thought that they they really saw him as like the heir apparent. Um. Because once he got to Elmo, it was like, ah, shit, you know, he helped guide in a, like, you know, golden age of Sesame Street and stuff. And Sesame Street and the Muppets, though, obviously same companies, are, are different creatures, though, entirely. And how they can really exist, I guess. But I just, I can't believe that the Muppets can't be figured out right. You know, I don't know. Is it because they try to make it too kitty now? That might be it. Like, if you think about the Muppet Show, go, go look at some of those old episodes and stuff. And you watch the old Muppet Show. And it was... You know, I mean, kids could get a kick out of it, obviously. It was it was a whole family thing. But there was enough legitimate grown-up humor and grown-up, you know, like, guests and stuff that I guess maybe that's that could be part of it. Whereas they don't seem to find that balance. Like, they had that um, Muppet show that was like almost like the the office or whatever you know um, type thing you know and it was i think a step in the right direction but again poorly executed and again i, I you know I'm, I'm no 
great Muppet expert or anything like that. I mean, I, I, I did watch them a lot when I was younger, and as I'm sure like a lot of people did. I just don't know why they can't be figured out. And I feel like there is something. It's just a matter of trying to find that balance. So here we go. I'm trying to add in a little bit, you know, Lou wanted me to turn the barn red again. And I was like, dude, I'm not going to do that because the barn's not red right now, you know. It's it's this kind of cool, rotting color. And, I, I, you know, I don't mean it to sound that bad, but I like that, actually. But I'll give him a little bit of his wish, you know what I mean? Like, we'll bring it a little dabs of where, if you look at the, up. Oh, I almost, I almost did it again. I'm going to do it earlier tonight. Because I didn't do it last night. Let me get this in here. Uh, my posts, I think, right? I have to laugh. Um... This is like a complete side note, but if you ever use this link, and you look at some of my other posts, the one photo of um, the barn from the other angle. Okay, now how do I, where's the. I want to share it. Hello. Alright, I guess it's just that now. I don't know. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, we're just going to... All right, reference photo. Let me make sure it's in the chat. Reference photo. Boop. Uh, why is it not showing up in my chat? Oh, it did, okay. It didn't show up in my... That's weird. Oh, and I'm out of focus again. Come on, man. That's why I need people talking. Let me know when I fucked it up. Don't worry, it's gonna not much longer, man. I finished this painting. Capture card, good camera. Um, I'm telling you, man, it's gonna it's gonna come soon. It's gonna come soon. How's it called, though? Um. Anyway, the um. You know, if you look at the the photo where where there's. You know, it's a there, there's like a rusty kind of color looking, but it's wood, so it wouldn't make any sense for it to be rust. Um, so this this idea of putting in a few red, you know, dabs. Now we'll we'll put in a uh, probably like a yellow ochre or something in there in a little bit, just to give it that kind of rusty tone too. Maybe a little orange or something in there too. That might look nice. Give it a nice little. Nice little bit of contrasting. London Kong. But, um. It's worth noting, by the way, that I have those thoughts about the Muppets quite often. <laughs> Probably more than a grown man should at 40 years old. I don't know. Like, I'll sit at work sometimes just be like, I can't get the Muppets right. And I know that sounds like nuts, but it's like, I seriously do. I'll be like, what the fuck? I'll tell you a realization I had today, by the way. Um, like, I literally said it to my wife the other day, but it didn't, like, it, and it didn't click. Okay. Um, if you didn't see last night's episode, uh, was it last night? Yeah, last night. Jesus Christ, I don't even think what day it is. Um, that's how long today it was. I felt like it was like, I think it was already Wednesday. Um, the, uh, you know, I, I mentioned I had sold, um, a painting of my, um, view of John Hines, uh, 
nature reserve to a longtime family friend. And then when we dropped it off, she was showing me some of the other stuff that she has, she's been collecting. And it's, you know, there was stuff like, um, the one she really likes to collect was, uh, it's, uh, Gustav, uh, Madeleine. And they're really nice stuff. So he's kind of an obscure artist. I don't think a lot of people know who he is. So, it, you know, I don't think a lot of people would be like, wow, you know, but it was really nice stuff. I really did like it. I've actually been looking up some more of his stuff today. Um, but what hit me today when I was like, I was just starting to get down at work or whatever, and I was just trying to let my friends, you know, some of my friends know that, you know, hey, I sold that painting, man, you know, like, it's feeling good. And it hit me that one of the things Bev had shown me, and, and like I said, I literally said, oh, my God, it's, it's Volyard, um, was a print of Volyards. Now, again, it's an etching print, so these are, you know, it's... There's a metal plate somewhere that somebody ran a print off of, and, and that's one of the things that she got. All right. Now, there's not a whole lot of them. I think he, Volyard only did, like, seven etchings in you know, his artistic career or whatever. But what really hit me, and like I said, I said this to my wife yesterday at some point, and it still didn't, like, click, click to me, is that Volyard and, and Van Gogh were friends. Like, they knew each other quite well. Uh, I mean, Van Gogh was, I think, closer to Bonard, but they did all kind of, you know, within the same groupings, and they they knew each other. I mean, there's Volyard paintings at the Van Gogh Museum because he was a contemporary, and, you know, like I said, they, they actually went to the same salon, uh, I believe, for a little while. And um, so it hit me that, like, because of her buying my painting, I am now one degree of separation from my master like whatever happens to her collection far down in the future technically my stuff goes with it somewhere and so if they come digging for that you know like some of the Madeleines or whatever or they you know like art historians or whatever like technically there's one of my shit right next to a volyard it's fucking amazing. So thank you, Bev. Like, it literally, like, hit me and, like, wow, holy shit. Like, I really did, like, kind of, like, I almost started having a panic attack at work because I was like, oh, my God, my shit's right next to it. Like, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. I have the lady is a tramp. She loves the free, fresh wind in her hair. Life without care. She's broke, and it's oak. Hates California. It's cold and it's damp. That's why the lady is a tramp. She gets new hungry to wait for dinner at eight. She loves the theater, but never comes late. She'd never bother with people she'd hate. That's why the lady is a tramp. With Sharpies and frocks. And she won't go to Harlem in Lincoln's or Fords. And she won't dish the dirt with the rest of the broads. That's why the lady is a tramp. I think some other stuff I read today. Maybe get somebody talking. I'll say every subject I can to try to get somebody to make some statement. Um, I'm just doing kind of like it's not. I don't want to say busy work. It's not busy work. It's all the little detailing stuff. Um, the uh, 
I saw that Netflix was like they've released the, I guess the episode count for Iron Fist, and that it's down to ten episodes. And you know what? I was actually thinking about. It. I'm like, look, was Iron Fist season one great? No. Was it good? No. Um, was it terrible? Eh, not really. I think it ran into, and I think they're they're figuring this out. Is that it just went too long? That they tried to keep it moving, like like you know, like they just had to fill it out. So there were always these times where it's like, okay, Danny's coming in here, and now Danny's starting to, okay, Danny's coming to his own. Now we're gonna see some stuff, and then it's like the next episode, Danny's acting like an asshole again. You're like, God damn it, Danny, stop it, you know. Um, so I think that's going to help. I was a little disappointed that, you know, they made sure he came into Luke Cage, but they didn't, they said that, um, Luke Cage is not going to show up on Iron Fist. And I was like, that's kind of a bummer. And what I think they need to do, just for their own sanity, and I don't know whether the stars would accept this or not, but I think, because they're talking about Moon Knight now, that's another possibility for the uh, Netflix series. And I think what they need to do to really... Ooh, I just thought of, let's see how this works. This might do it. This might actually screw it up or it'll be great. Um, just like a few highlights. Um, what they need to, to do, I think, or w would definitely help to a degree, would be for them to, like, all right, no more Luke Cage, no more Iron Fist, as uh, separate entities. Um, instead, like, you know, you do uh, Heroes for Hire, and, you know, it's just, you, uh, Michael Colton, I forget the actor who plays Danny Rand, I know he was... Game of Thrones, and you know, as much as I watch that, I should know, but I don't remember. You know, like you get those guys in, and you just, all right, you guys are one show now. Like, because their dynamic worked very well in Luke Cage, and, and like I said, I'm, I'm really disappointed that they're not going to reverse it at some point. Because admittedly, I'll say this um, his kung fu only looked slightly better. Like, it's still very st st stiff and slow. You know? I mean, I guess they're going for that more perfection of the pose or whatever, but I don't know. It just looks like if I was a bad guy, I'd just kind of wait and I could get him or something. I don't know. Then, uh, let's see, what other weird brain farts have I had today? I hope Lou likes this. That's one thing I gotta say. I hope he does. That he sees that. And I'm kind of like right in everybody's way, you know, like of what I'm working on here. So I'm gonna try to dodge back a little bit so you can maybe see what's been going on down there. Um, like, yeah, he really he he said originally that he wanted me to turn the the barn back into a red barn. And I was like, nah, dude, it's pretty. Like, it's really it is pretty. It's it's you know, there's something, there's, there's, there's beauty in decay. Uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know how else to put it. There's that, that element of things as they kind of fall apart that really has a, a you know, I really still want, like, there's a, there's a building out in uh, Westchester area that I really want to go out and see. It's, I don't know whose property it's on, so I'm sure I'd be, like, 
almost trespass it because it's visible from the street. So it's like I, you know, it's just a matter of trying to find out where I can park my car there because it's not really a place that I can park. Um, right color, but I don't know if I have enough. I probably need a bigger brush. that and see what it does. Fight on a western bay and it surfs a hundred ships a day and the sailors pass the time away and talk about their homes and there's a girl in this harbor town and she works laying whiskey down there's a brandy fetch another round she serves them whiskey and wine the sailor said brandy you're a fine girl what a good wife you would be if i could steal the sailor from the sea Where's a braided chain? The finest still. Did that, why does it still show me that whisper? I answered that whisper. Oh, is that one? No, yeah, what's that one? What the hell? No harbor was his home. I'm just trying to figure out which. Like, which one's saying it's open? Answer oh, okay, there we go. Sorry. I had a whisper that was popped in up still. I'm like, what the hell, man? I answered it. I was talking to Matt last night about it. Anyway. That used to... One of these days, I'll figure Twitch out. One of these days, I'll become smart. It ain't happened yet. It ain't happening anytime soon. He had always told the truth. Lord, he was an honest man. And Brandy does her best to understand. Right. When the boss closed down, Brandy walks through a silent town and loves a man who's not around. She still can hear him say, she hears him say, Brandy, you're a fine girl. You're a good wife, you would be. But my life, my love, and my lady is the sea. I'm probably going to have to hit this again with a couple. Because it's not really, like, it's too flat. It's falling back into the, the sky area. Um... Let's see if I can just throw in like a little, just to get some strokes in there and get it visible. Give it a little thickness, a little, little substance. There's a reason I all but retired this brush. Just always put it on to like it never, never gave me a solid uh, series of dashes out of it. it. Became you can see it's got a nasty curl and all this stuff now at this point. I usually just do a front painting, but I just wanted to get something thicker that I could slap up here, and now I think I fucked it up. No, there's no mistakes, just happy accidents. No, there's fucking mistakes. I make them all the time. I mean, I get the idea that he was trying to, you know, sell on that, which is to, you know, not let your mistakes really fucking, you know, stand in your way 
you know, to, to accept them and just kind of move on. But, like, nah, I think it's okay to admit mistakes. I think it's all right to be like, look, I fucked this up. The trick is, anymore, to make sure, especially for me, to make sure that I don't, like, totally eat it, though. Like, in other words, you know, um, to make sure that I don't do shit like I used to do in college all the time, where I would, like, I'd fuck something up, and it's a small area, and it was something that probably was easily fixed if I just took the a slight bit of time to do it, you know, I used to be afraid of, like, wiping away mistakes and stuff, like, literally, like, taking a rag, dipping in a little tarp, and just get rid of the damn thing, and it's like, you just gotta learn to, to literally just say, okay, you know, it is a mistake, get rid of it, learn from it, you know, don't fuck around it again, don't, don't let that shit happen again. Are there points when it might be too late in the pain to do such an extreme thing? Probably. Smarter men would probably give it up at that point. But As I've quoted on here many times, I'm not a smart man. So it's a very weird balance because it's like it's got to have the, the, the roof itself has that very pale metal, um, you know, definitely weathered look to it. Um, I think that's metal. Looks metal. Yeah, looks like a tin roof. It's going to have some, uh, some rusting on it. It's going to have all that fun stuff on there. But it's also catching some of the light of the dark sky. There, so it's got to have a little. It should reflect and, and have that color, but you also don't want it to fall into the sky. If you know what I mean. And maybe you don't. Maybe I'm talking gibberish to you. That's a good time to tell me I'm talking gibberish to you by saying hi in the chat. Clicking follow. Let me know you're here. <coughs> Somebody's not following, I don't know. Because I just kissed my baby. Damn, it's already 9.50? Shit, are you kidding me? God damn, man. See, I, I wanted to get in here much sooner, but there was all sorts of weird shit that happened today. Like... We had to wrap up some FASTA stuff for my oldest. Um, able to do that, thankfully, before I had to take my son to karate, but that actually kind of screwed me up because I was thinking I was going to take him to karate, come back, handle the FASTA stuff. While I was here, I was going to take care of my um, my uh, car's registration renewal when it was due. So I was like, all right, I'll take care of that while I'm, right after I take care of Allie's thing. But since we didn't, it was like I had enough time to get Allie's stuff done. Allie took off. Um, so I was like, get Vincent ready to go. You know. Had to drop the kids off at the pool. You know. Different set of kids. Anyway. Um, again, I'm classing this place up, baby. Um, balance and attack. Just kiss my baby. I didn't want to say that line a lot because that was too funny. It was just going back for number two. Anyway, sorry. Just like, I am a child. Um, my wife wouldn't argue that at all either. She'd be like, yeah, you're a moron. Um, date. Because I just kiss my baby. It's funny, my wife and I were watching uh, The Hunger Games last night. And it was, uh, I mean, I liked the books. They were good. I mean, they weren't, like, fantastic. 
I get annoyed by first person writing a lot because I feel like that's like if you look at the movies, you know, they gave you a lot of stuff that was going on in the capital outside of, you know, the games as they were happening. And I kind of dug that a lot more than just, like, I like the idea that they could kind of give you the idea of her being in a, you know, like in a bubble, so she couldn't really tell what was the hell was going on in there. But at the same point, it's like, there was cool political shit going on that I really would have enjoyed. Um, but we were watching, it was, um, the second one, Catching Fire. Is that it? Um, and I was cracking up because I said to my wife, I said, you know, Plutarch's plan or whatever, or the, the conspiracy to get her out or whatever, that was rather risky if you think about it because there's like a few times where he could have accidentally killed her. And then there goes their, you know, Mocking Jay or whatever for the, the revolution. Like I, I was just thinking about like um, if you look at like um, the part where they're on the center thing, they start spinning it, right? Now you got some of the careers that were on there, and you have you know obviously the the quote unquote good guys if you want to refer to them that you know I don't know how you know the allies or whatever. And, um, you know, Katniss gets spun off the damn thing. And the thing is that if you paid attention to that layout of everything, I mean, there's there's rocks like, you know, there's, what, I guess, technically 13 sets of rocks to divide up the, the sections, right? I think my math's right on that one. So, as he's spinning around at really fucking fast speeds, you know, and Katniss flies off, the the odds of her actually just hitting the water and just hitting water are, like, negligible. She's going to be spinning around and hit that fucking ro one of those rocks and dead, you know? But somehow they didn't. Okay, fine. You know, suspension of disbelief being what it is. All right, fine. We'll let it go. But then, like, you know, you think about all the other trials and shit that... And I know they're trying to make a good you know, uh, show for snow or whatever, but at the same point, like I said, it's like at some point, he almost killed her, like a few times. Ah, damn my eye. Ah, oh, sorry. Got to like, pull out the eye rinse and shit tonight. And I'm gonna have to get some, uh, sign of, um, allergy medicines and stuff. Fuck. I don't want to do it either, because it's like, I've been doing, uh, I've been going without allergy medicine now for like a month and a half, or so, maybe a month, I guess, yeah, I guess about a straight month at this point, it's not really a month and a half, but I've been trying to avoid it because, like, the, you know, the antihistamine or whatever stuff, like, it really does drag your ass down a little bit, and I thought, maybe if I don't take it, because I'm always exhausted. Like, I'm always exhausted, it seems. Um, and with the exception of yesterday, where, like I said, I didn't get up to, like, 11.30. And how I pulled that off, I don't know. I'm surprised my wife didn't, like, come up and just, like, punch me in the face or something. But uh, the uh, With the exception of that, for the most part, I've been feeling at least a little more awake every day than I normally did. So I thought it's been something good, but like I said, every now and then I get these, even when I'm taking allergy medicines, I get these like sinus infections that it'll just take over and they turn into like a little bit of conjunctivitis and fun shit like that. And I got to deal with it. But part of the dealing with it is like Flonase and shit. So I guess I got to pick some up. Which I'm not thrilled about. And it's weird, too, because it didn't, like, I, this isn't something that I've had for a very long time, when I say it. Like, it happens every year. Basically, since, I'd say, 2012? Something like that? 
And so I don't know where it really came from. Like, why it just sort of turned on one day and has bugged the shit out of me since. Yeah. And like these are like brand new contacts I just put in, so I know it's not the contacts. I was thinking maybe it was part of that because they were definitely pushing that edge of the two weeks thing, you know. And I take them out every night and I do all that stuff. Um, it's from my sinuses. It bleeds over from my nose, and it's like it's disgusting. And the only other, uh, you know, sort of excuse I can work with is that uh, a few years ago, um, I used to get them a lot during college, especially. I would get, I, I used to suffer from, uh, all the time from um, cluster headaches, which if you're not familiar with those are, another name from a suicide headaches because the pain gets so bad that you want to die. I mean, it's on the same size as them. Like, it is at the same spots. All right, so my, med my headaches used to start. Um, I have a scar right under here underneath my left ear now. I had a um, Worthen cyst, I think is what it's called. Um, or Worthen's tumor. It's basically like a type of like tumor. It forms on your salivatory gland. Normally, it does nothing to you. But this one happened to form and sit right on the facial nerve. That controls, like, all your uh, uh, involuntary facial structure shit. So all the stuff that, you know, controls, like, blood flow and shit in your head, um, it was sitting on that. And that had developed in college around the time that I was starting to get these headaches. So my ear, nose, and throat guy, my second ear, nose, and throat guy, and this is going to be important to the story, said, all right, we're taking that shit out. But before he got there, I had gone to another guy, and under the assumption that my, based on what my um, family doctor had been telling him, he thought it was just, you know, something to do with, directly with my sinuses. They never they even looked at that. So, you know, I got CAT scans and shit done, and then they decided they were going to do a, I had a deviated septum. And they were like, all right, we're just going to do that, and that'll probably help. I'm like, okay, whatever, you know. So... As we were talking about the deviated septum, the, the, the first doctor originally said, he goes, you know, I, I look at your x-rays, and it, you have, like, the, the nasal passages of, like, an alien. He's like, they're just bizarre. I was like, oh, cool, thanks, doc. You know. Um, but, like, ever since we, yeah, okay, they, they did that part, and it seemed to help a little. It didn't really do, get rid of them for me. Um... And then the uh, the second one, Dr. Lindholm, took out my, yeah, the, the tumor thing there. And over time, they diminished. They didn't go away right away. Exercise seemed to help a little bit, too, and, and drinking more water. And, and so it was like a combination of stuff. Obviously, they're called cluster headaches. There's multiple reasons. But um, it was like after they... After they kind of subsided for a long time. That's when I started getting this weird conjunctivitis stuff. And I don't know why. But it's on the same spot. It's on the same pressure points that would cause the, you know, the, the headaches to form from. So, I mean, given my druthers, uh, it sure as shit beats the cluster migraines. Because I used to get those things like to the point of like blackout pain. Like I would literally just pass out. Yeah. There were a couple times that uh, when I was working for, yeah, you know, waiting tables and shit, I'd have to call my boss and I'm like I I cannot get there. And they're we really need you tonight. Blah, blah blah. I was like, look, I'll try, but I'm just letting you know. And like as soon as I hang up the phone, I was out. I was done. There was no movement from me at all. I was a, yeah. You know, I hit the floor, and that was it. Uh, 
Uh, these reds are good. I think they're going to need to... They're going to need a little orange to make them work a little better for me. Somebody keeps copping, popping in here and popping out. At one point, just seven, I had four. And now I'm down now. I don't know. Who's lurking? Come on. Somebody, where's Dr. Beast? He tells, me, he tells me when he's lurking. I don't know. I'm just looking for something to talk about. Ah, shit. You know what I need to talk about? I need to talk about I gotta be right back so I can put the kids to bed. Because they're gonna give me shit if I don't. I'm telling you, the one night I didn't do that because I was in here streaming, I was like, I'll just blow through it. The kids will know. You know, they're 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 not little anymore, you know, right? No. Oh, Sophia gave me hell for that one. Dad, you didn't come up to give us kisses last night. Tony, man, that child. God help whoever she marries. I won't say her, you know, like her husband or anything like that. Who knows when, you know. I'll never put that pressure on them. Whatever they want, whatever their sexuality is, their sexuality. But whoever she marries, man. If she marries. Whoever she gets involved with, let's put it that way, at some point in her life. God fucking help them. I mean, I love her to death, but... Alright, let me go do that, and I might stop for a second up while I'm up there and rinse my eye out to see if it'll help. Alright, give me uh, just a few moments, guys. And I will be back shortly. Let me hit this. Get that ready to go. Close that off for a second. And then I'll click down here.
Alright, change the plans a little bit. My wife was in the bathroom when I went up to go give the kids kisses, so I'll go get in there to spray my eyes, so. 10.30's gotta be the hard end, so I can get in there. I gotta be in there, gotta be where? Death is out in the place of the last, and there is where I was in the best. Now, I know there's some people who might say, well, you know, dude, you guys have been married for a long time now. Why don't you guys go in the bathroom at the same time like who kids or shit? Yeah, but see, with my bathroom, it's kind of like a thing. If someone's on the toilet, they ain't getting in there. It's the door's like right there. You're driving on dry land. Come on and wade way out into the water with me. Jump in and take my hand. Away to the rambling show, run away with the rambling gypsy yo. Run away, run away with the traveling show, run away with the rambling gypsy yo. They run away with the traveling show, run away, run away with the gypsy yo. Run away, run away with the traveling show, away, run away with the gypsy yo. Come on and wade way onto the water with me. We're drowning on dry land. Come on and wade way onto the water with me. I'm in and take my hand. I did try to, I found like some like leftover Flonase I had that was just like a little bit left in the bottle. I'm like, alright, I'm going to hit that, maybe. Even a little bit seems to help. Rest behind. Come on and wade way out into the water with me. We're drowning on dry land. Come on and wade way out into the water with me. Come on and wade way out into the water with me. We're drowning on dry land. Come on and wade way out into the water with me. Come on and wade way out into the water with me. We're drowning on dry land. Come on and wade way out into the water with me. Come on and wade way out into the water with me. Drowning on dry land. No. I just turned one of you off. No, not that either. Right, I'll do another gale storm. It's a different one, slightly. That is pop it, pop it, pop. As a nod to his land. The fire in the land. I can almost feel the famine. I'm slipping through my trembling hand.
saints, we are sinners. We are healers, we are thieves. Spoilers. It's bringing up the troubles of the fires in the land. Till I can almost feel the famine Ripping through my trembling hand And I wonder as I hear her Will this spirit still shine through? And break my heart in two Come on, here a little bit more than that. It's time trying to take it. Nice. Ships and we are the harbor. Fire in the land Till I can almost feel the famine Ripping through my trembling hands And I wonder as I hear her Will the spirit still shine through Cross the ocean lake And break my heart in two Pretty song. Again, I never know what you guys can actually see off of this on the market, especially because my head's like right in your way. Bury me something in this world. So like you can't see that window at all. All, uh, all I can say, I'll do this before I forget. Uh, I don't want to do that, but okay. Um, See my heart all decorated like a grave. Uh, you don't understand who they thought I was supposed to be. Look at me now, I'm a man who won't let himself be. Down in a hole, feeling so small. Down in a hole, losing my soul. I'd like to fly, but my wings have been so denied. Put all 
the stones in their place. I've eaten the sun, so my tongue has been burned of the taste. I have been guilty of kicking myself in the teeth. I will speak no more of my feelings beneath. Down in a hole, feeling so small. Down in a hole, losing my soul. I'd like to fly, but my wings have been so denied. But something in this world I give this part of me for you Sand rains down and here I sit holding red flowers in a tub Down in a hole, feeling so small. Down in a hole, fizzing my soul. Down in a hole, feeling so small. Down in a hole, load of control. I'd like to fly, but my wings have been so denied. Uh, one thing I wanted to say earlier that I forgot to. Um, now, I don't know quite how it works, like what the criterion are or whatever, but um, I found it funny. Like, I I use Imgur, Imgur, Im, Imgur, I don't know how it's pronounced. I don't give a shit. Um, I'm a wealth of information. Anyway. I use that, uh, you know, for for here to just so you guys have something. If you want to look up the the same stuff I am, or just want to see what I'm using on, or, or whatever, yeah, whatever. You know, it's not like I'm a psychologist or anything. Um, anyway, but like for some reason, the photo that Lewis sent of the barn from the other side. So viewing it from like over here. Over in this way. Nice burp there. Did you hear it? That was nice. Um, for some reason, that one got downvoted to crazy, and I don't understand why. <laughs> Is it because it's not the painting we're doing? I don't know. I, I mean, it's one I drew off of when I did the let's draw a bit thing. I mean, it's not my photo, so it's not like I really care it's just it was funny it was like okay why is this downvoted so much it's a barn it's a nice picture even you know i don't know why would you do that i don't know what's, what's the problem i bet you it was that sugar bear i don't know why that made me think of that the voice started to come out like that 
Sugar Bear will never get mutt. Are you ready? That was a very good bit from the uh, Game Grumps when that happened. They did bleed it out, though, unfortunately, to, like... Skip that one. It was something that just lasted way too long with the. No, this is not right for that tonight either. Nor that. Come on! No, nor that either. No, I just turned you off. No, not that one either. No. 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 Yeah. Shit right out of your head. Girls, the girls, the girls. All the pretty girls in the world. And the ugly girls, too. Cause me pretty anyway, baby. You give me your number, I call you up. You act like a pussy on interrupt. I don't have no trouble with you fucking me, but I have a little problem with you not fucking me. Baby, you know I'm going to take care of you because you say I'm a baby and I know it ain't true. Is it a good thing? No, it's bad, bitch. For good or worse, makes you a switch. So I walk on over with my crystal. Way you're pissed out, dirty. Won't be having that in this house because, bitch, I'll cover your style. Now that you heard my charming voice, you can... Cause you won't get moist and not be bummy. Girl, you better give me that money. Hey, dirty. Baby, I got your money. Don't you worry. I said, hey, baby, I got your money. Hey, dirty. Baby, I got your money. Don't you worry. I said, hey, baby, I got your money. So again, said the girl, girl, glance at me. I whispered in the ear, you want to be with me? You want to look pretty, though, in my video. Oh, dirty, let your hat, and I let you, oh, no. Just dance if I'm going to put the Holy Ghost trance. If you stop, I'm going to put them killer ants in your pants. I'm the ODB, as you can see. Every eye, don't you be watching me. I don't want no trouble, because I put you down. In the ground where you cannot be found. I'm the South Dog, trying to make some money. So give me that street scent, give me my honey. Radios play this all day, every day. Recognize I'm a fool and you love me. None of you know, better look at me funny. No, you know my name, now give me my money. Baby, I got your money, don't you worry. Said, hey, baby, I got your money. Do you want his money? I think y'all should give him his money. Oh, I like the rock. Sexy, sexy, sexy. Sexy, sexy, sexy. Sexy, sexy, sexy. You just take a little bit of that off. Club like this all night. Bitches, put your ass out. Let me hold you tight. You're looking at my wrist saying, This so nice. The precious diamond shining disco lights Will you help me solve my problem? How to get this money and rob them? Look at dog when I want the lot I run over my car and call me roller Well you can call me dirty And then lift up your skirt you want some of this dirty God made dirt and dirt bust your ass Stop annoying me yeah Play my music loud That's so dirty to move the crowd and he's hiding out of his dick in his mouth. Eddie Murphy taught me that back of the house. I give him money. I'm sorry, this was a great video. All the clips from like the old like, you know black exploitation movies of the seventies and stuff. Just fucking Dolomite and all that stuff, man. It's good stuff. I'm a very weird cinephile sometimes. Like, like I love really, like, really, really, like, artistic films and stuff like that. And, uh, at the same point, like, I love, like, you know shoestring budget, terrible, you know, acting, 
Like, I love it all. Like, it just depends on... I guess, I don't know. Like, I can't stand when Hollywood makes a bad movie. Like, a, like a really, like, you know, like, big budget, you know, and it turns out like shit. Because it's like, dude, you, you, you shouldn't have that happen. Like, you guys have the money, you guys have all that shit behind you, and you fuck it up. Like, no. That's, that's, that's not right. You know? I mean, look, I guess in some cases, I guess I'm kind of happy that, you know, Fox was so bad at it for a while, because it's like, now, you know, Fantastic Four and, you know, X-Men can become part of the, the Marvel Universe, which is fucking cool. But, you know, I won't lie, part of me is concerned that the production would be just too much. Like, you know, like, if Marvel, well, if Disney, it's really it's just Disney, it's not even Marvel. But if Disney is, you know, in charge of it all, it's going to be, that's a lot of organizing, you know, and, and shit falls through the cracks and that's how sh bad shit happens. From major, you know, or they try to get too involved, and then they take it over and they fuck everything up because they don't allow somebody with a decent vision to take it, you know, and run the run the gamut with it or whatever, and see what happens. It's a weird balance, man. Like if you actually like like pay attention to some of the history of like um, uh, the the Dark Knight trilogy, like at one point. Before the second movie came in to be, um, Warner Brothers did want to start like getting their hands in it a lot more, you know, because they made money. You know, Batman Begins, sweet. Let's get our hands in there. And Nolan was basically like, "Cool, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave then." And they're like, "No, no, no, Chris, you can't leave." And he says, "Well, okay, then get your asses out of here." And it was like, you know, and guess what? It fucking worked. Warner Brothers has that habit, and you know, what? I think that's a problem. Like, if you think about it, all right, you look at all the, the good movies from them. Nine times out of ten, they were from people that were just given the reins. They were like, all right, guys, here you go. You know? And, uh, like, look at The Matrix and the Wachowskis. All right? They do a good job on, you know, again, I'm talking the original. And it's Warner Brothers that was like, okay, we need more. You need to give us another two of those or something, you know, make it a trilogy. And it's like, uh, okay. And then, but like, or the Harry Potters. Like, the Harry Potter movies are a great example. Because here it is that you've got, you know, J.K. Rowling was like, I have final say in everything, or you don't get the contract. And they were like, uh, okay, I guess, you know, sure. And there were a couple times they were trying to get, you know, and she was like, nope, nope, my contract, you know, I get the final everything. So, like, one of the biggest series they ever had, you know? Like, I mean, as far as movies go. I mean, it's sure it's a no-brainer, and you go, well, it's J.K. fucking rallying. But, like, I don't know. It, there's just a... There's an element of it that, I guess, they just seem to always forget. Like, hey, when we give it to the other people that know their shit, the shit comes out decent. But when we get our fucking hands in there, we fuck it all up. I wonder if it's better, you know, I put that blue line there, but I wonder if it needs to be a white one. Like a nice, real divide between that sky and the... I'm thinking it does. I, I really gotta get in, because I mean, my eye's gonna start killing me soon. The spray helped a little bit. Um, it's just I know I'm not painting tomorrow night, and I don't want to... I don't want to strain it too much, you know, like... Paints are gonna dry. I can feel it already. They're already starting to go. So it's like I don't want to like lose it, lose it. You know, I like to lose it, lose it. No. Um, little subtle things here. Like the barely noticeable shit. I want to do it. Drop in here real quick. Okay, this is stuff that I know is not showing up on this camera, and I don't expect it to, and I don't want it to. I want you guys to annoy Lou and say, "Can I come over and see his painting?" I was gonna be like, who the fuck are you? How'd you get this number? Private message me. No, I'm just kidding. I won't do it. I'm not gonna give you his number. Um, 
Nobody's listening. That'd be funny. Listen. Don't you do it? Anyway. Um, no, but, you know, I, I, I spit that bit of truth out all the time. And I, I seriously mean it. You have to see paintings in person. You have to go. Like I said, I, I have the complete works of Van Gogh and books over here, right over this way. Like, or you can't see me anyway, like right over there. But the reality of it is, is I've only seen, like, uh, I think about 140 of them. Something like that. That's not a lot. Okay. So, this took longer, and it's still not done yet. There's just so much I can do in that. Because um, we still technically have this whole area back here. Which is part of it, I think, is Duck Barn. It's kind of cool. He's got little ducks back there. It's pretty awesome. Um, and I want to put some, like, if you look at the, the roof, it's definitely got, like, tracks, you know, like, and I would like to get those in. Um, so, we're going to have to deal with that. Um... There's still a few tones, I think, right in here I'd like to toss in. And then that should be the bar, like, once I do this, you know what I mean, but, um, so, then, let's see, then we gotta start in this, I'm gonna push back, I, I, I said it was gonna be two weeks from yesterday, I think it's gonna be like two and a half, I wanna be legitimate and try to be realistic on what it's doing here, because this is taking a long time, this little bit. I'm never going to have the house. Alright, you know what, three weeks. We're going to say three weeks. Painting will be done in three weeks. Alright, so it'd be like middle of August, right? Somewhere in there. Which still keeps me right now. I'm just I'm just trying really hard to keep my one painting, at, at least one painting per month. I'm hoping maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll figure something out with like two smaller paintings. Next, like that way I could just like pop two out in like September real quick. Get a little ahead of the game. Because October is going to be bad for me. October, and just to forewarn everybody, like I am in Halloween mode. And it's like I got, I got to get my house ready to scare the shit out of children. You know. It's always like fun to get bonus candy because they drop it on the ground when they're running. I wish I was lying to you guys. I wish I was lying to you. Happens every year. Anyway, alright, I gotta get in. So, that'll be it for tonight, guys. Um, like I said, tomorrow, or not tomorrow, tomorrow we don't stream. Tomorrow we're going to see Incredibles 2 with the family. Wish me luck. Hopefully my children will behave. God, Jesus Christ. No, I don't believe in God. God damn it, that sucks. Anyway, um, Wednesday night, I want to finish that barn. I'd like to finish these little things, too, if I can. We'll see what we can do to pull off. And then we'll, like I said, keep expanding out from there. Hopefully we maybe get those trees so that it gets into, like, not this bush here. Like, not in this area. I wouldn't get that shit. Um, so that's going to be our goal. So to try to finish up this kind of strip right in here on Wednesday. Um, put in the right little lines in there. And then... Thursday, get in here, and if we can, if we can, if we're lucky, maybe hit this tree. Like just at least touch him a little bit, you know, see if he likes us, you know. Not like it's sexual harassment, we just did a little, you know, hey, how are you? And I don't know. All right, good night, guys.